In this video, we will see the first few ports and then menu bar. And at first, uh, in 3D Max, when you open it, it seems to be a little bit of confusing. Say four viewports are there. So which one to have to work? It's really confusing at first, but uh, believe me, it is very easy. It's very simple to learn. So what I'll do is I'll just drag one teapot and just I'm dragging for teapot to we can show how it's move and how it's rotate. So first I'll show you uh, the file. This is the file and we can take new file and reset right now. If we have started, we have already started with the new one. So we don't have to get a new document right now. But if you don't want to save this thing, I can say reset anytime and I'll say no and I'll say reset. But right now I don't want to reset it. I'll say no. For this, you can go and you can and save as you can save this options are there. You can save with 3ds max file. And to move this object, if you see this is a transform, you can move this with each separate axis. Control Z is for undo, like if you don't want and if you want the previous one, Control Z is for undo. Same thing if you want to rotate it, you can go and click on select and rotate. There is blue, there is green, there is blue and red. It defines there are three different axes to rotate. So this is the first one to rotate, second and third. Upon the axis like this one axis, second axis and third axis. Same with move as well. This is three axis X, Y, Z, red, Z, X, Z and Y. If you notice in 3D Max, the Y axis is downwards. So and the upward always it should be Y, but in 3D Max upward is the Z axis. It's not a problem and uh, it's nothing uh, to worry about. It, we can move, we can we can make uh, same things what we do with the simple universal gizmos. And this is called gizmos. And if you want to switch to move tool, you can go and click E on your keyboard that is rotate. If you press W, it's for move. And if you press R, it's for scale. This is move, rotate and scale. So in scaling, if you see for one axis, C axis, it is something like this. We can scale it. I'll press Ctrl Z. Then if you press Y, this is something we have we have done in Y axis. Scaling, Ctrl Z and X, different different axis you can scale. And if you want uniform scaling, keep your cursor on this yellow and click and drag and there is a uniform scaling. So this is what move, rotate and scale. So I'll just press W on my keyboard that is a move. And if you want copy of it, I'll press shift on my keyboard and drag, you will get copy. So uh, right now I'll just uh, concentrate on copy because there are two other things and I don't want to mix up and don't want to confuse you. So this is what the copy is and how much, how many copies you want. You, you just type your numbers like I want five copies. I'll say okay. So there will be five of the copies. So I'll just make again new copy. Now one. So now I'll again make a copy. So now this time I'll make an instance. I'll again press five and say OK. So the difference between copy and instance, if you click on copy and go to modify and say radius, the only one uh, teapot is having radius effect. But if you click on the second row, which is the instance, and if you say radius, see each one of has been increasing. So this is what the difference between copy and instance. The one 
any object if you modify it will affect everyone and in copy it will not affect to everyone so now i want to reset it i'll go to file i'll say reset i don't want to save this in i'll say no i want to reset i will say yes so now everything is new so first i'll take a box it's a standard primitives i'll take a box click drag and release your button if you drag upwards it will be going up and if you go downwards it will be going downwards so clicking and say click i'll go to modify and if you see uh, there is a length and also width we can adjust and height so right now i don't want to go to the segments right now but in later chapters we will always see what is a segments two so i'll just go to again create menu and i'll say spear i'll click on spear then if if any object you want to modify you just click and say modify here and you will get that parameters of respect to object if i want to modify this spear i have to click on spear and i'll go to mod modify you can see the radius increasing and decreasing and hemisphere you can cut it down like this or if you want slice you can make a slice so this is what and if you want to see uh, your object uh, by in perspective view here are some controls i'll i'll click on orbit you can rotate it like this and see from everywhere how the objects are looking if you click pan you can pan it you can orbit it if you want maximize the viewport click on maximize the viewport the shortcut is alt w i'll just uh, change my way of showing the viewport it should be shaded i always use the shaded because it slow down your pc so i'll go to shaded yeah now it's perfect i'll just press alt w again i'll take now cylinder click drag upwards go to modify radius height and this is a segments the only thing if you press f4 on your keyboard see f4 if you decrease it the segment will decrease you can increase the segments i'll i'll, I'll tell you the later on what is the use of the segments cap segment is top can increase again we have the slice and if you see we have a smooth options if you click off the tick mark smooth option you will see there is a jagged edges and if you click it will be smoothen so this is the what it does now torus go to modify radius 1 outside and radius 2 inside and rotation we can't see the rotation as well so i'll press f4 and let's say rotation twist segments increase and decrease see if you increase the segment it the object is smooths and if you decrease it it doesn't have any smoothness so the primary uh, object of the segment you can increase for smoothness and if you decrease it will reduces its smoothness and again the sl sl sides and again slice 
so we can make a slice like this from and to say cone go to modify radius 1 and radius 2 as well of course we have a segment here also in each and every object we can have we have a segments now geosphere say modify radius we have three options tetra octa and icosa so there are different different uh, uses for it but right now if you see we have a simple sphere in our screen tube modify again radius 1 radius 2 and height and height segment is there cap segment is there and sides means same slice is there each and every object has a slice pyramid modify width depth and height we have a segments for its sides and plane I'll just drag plane from the top viewport so if you see we have so many of objects if I want to select one click if I want to move W you can move if you see there are three axes in which axis we have to move we can't uh, say like so we can do from the left like this upwards sideways but in from top we can move it this way and this way so when we move it from left this doesn't have any changes because we are moving from top we are y-axis so if you see and move from here we are getting the positions so likewise if you change to front and say upwards again we will not have any changes but still we have we are getting changes but we are not seeing it so we can see it over here so now in next lesson we'll go towards extended primitives and uh, we'll see what the extended primitive is so meet you in next lesson